What's up, enthusiasts? Welcome to another episode of Workbench Wednesday. Today, well, we've got uh, we've got some nice, shiny new things to mess with. Uh, I, I went ahead and I did some work on this before we got started. Uh, we're gonna break this into a couple episodes, I believe. Um, I, I can't rightly tell you why I didn't start recording as soon as I started putting these, these things together, but uh, real quick, we've got uh, Instanto wheels with Neo Rhinos in a 42 millimeter uh, containment cage from Containment Crew. And this is one of our swappable cages or will be one of our swappable cages when we're done. Um, I just wanted to go over a couple quick things about the installation process. I used one of uh, Kelly Industries motor cover things right here to help put the wheels on, which definitely was nice. So this goes on, not like that, like that. And this gives you like a nice little hold like thumb holds so you're not you know poking yourself with the top or messing with any of the terminals and that helps you really get in there and uh put the wheels on well which was nice now these weren't particularly hard wheels to put on and they do have the little guide on the inside so you push them down all the way and it matches the the motor terminal kind of place um which is really nice i like that with the containment crew wheels um actually i can show you exactly what i'm talking about with a motor and one of these wheels. Let me change the focal range here really quick. And there we go. So you'll see right there, that ring. That ring coincides, we'll grab a nice fang motor here. The ring coincides with this raised part before the shaft on the motor so it sits inside that and it gives you the same uh, fitting on both of your wheels. So they're the same distance or the same height and all of that, which is super nice, super fan of that. Um, but if you don't have wheels that have that, this is definitely a plus as well. It helps you kind of get things going. I did actually encounter a little bit of an issue once I had everything installed here. And that issue was I uh, started spinning one wheel and it was fine. I can't remember which wheel it was, but then I started spinning the other wheel and I actually heard some sound like it was scratching, rubbing against something. Um, and I, I couldn't, you know, see quite well enough to really tell exactly where it was. So I just took a little bit of sandpaper. Now, I'm sure someone more experienced than me will, will come in and tell me, what uh, I did wrong if I did something wrong by doing this but rather than pull the wheels off and and go in there and sand everything which disclaimer something I learned from this is sand down all the parts before you start putting things together it just you know it just makes sense um, so what I did is I took a little piece of sandpaper and just slid it in and kind of just used the, the the wheel as a guide to do a little bit of sanding um, and uh, it, it seemed to work because the sound is not really there anymore. Uh, so that, that was definitely a plus. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at as soon as I realized I should be recording this. Why am I not recording this? Uh, so now we've got ourselves some 16 gauge wire in blue and white. Uh, we're going with blue and white because, well, we're fabulous and the fabulous color scheme is pink blue and white so we got some 16 gauge wire we're gonna cut this up and we're gonna use i think this uh blaster tech loom that i had from the last strife that i pulled out and i cut off to, to swap things out we're gonna use this as kind of a guide on how we want to cut our wires in terms of length and uh well we can actually just use this as well to give ourselves an idea on how long we need to go. So about to there. Let's go ahead and cut that. Whoa, and it's gone. Uh, <laughs> how did that even? It figures. All right, let's, let's go hunting for a small piece of wire that thankfully didn't fall too far. How does that even happen? 
how does that even happen? All right, and we'll just use this as a guide for the next cut. Hopefully, we'll, we'll hold on to this one so it doesn't go shooting off in a random direction. Who knew cutting wire would propel it? Uh, let's go a little bit further over. If I can open these. Yeah, it looks I think, we, I think we're good. Oh, not as not quite as pretty of a cut. Um, and then we're going to need some more lengths of wire to get ourselves from these points to our connector, which will sit under the magwell, uh, or above the magwell, rather. Uh, for those, I don't know the exact length I want, but I'm guessing it's somewhere around here. I'm going to cut more than is necessary just, just to be safe. We can always order more wire. Yes, it's money, but I'd rather have to trim a little bit than not have enough and just have this extra piece just kind of like, hey, hey, you, you done messed that up. Good job. All right, so we've now got our wire, and uh, I think the next step is, let's make sure these are both long enough, yeah? Yeah, those look like they are long enough to me. We may actually trim those a little bit. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, but I think the next step is we have to actually make some snips for the wire to actually... Uh, open these up and allow ourselves to solder in these pieces which will go like this and then those two will connect into our connector right here which uh should should being the, the operative key word here everything is a should because we're just going to assume that i'm going to make mistakes at some point um i'm just i'm you know i'm pretty good at it i'm pretty talented so we're just gonna uh, we're, we're gonna assume. All right, so we got some 16 gauge wire. Let's go ahead and find about halfway. Uh, a little bit more. And does that not line up properly? Is that just me? It just looks like it's not. Ah, let's well squeeze, twist. What have we got to do to get this? Let's pop it up and find out how we get it. We kind of got it. I'm not. Not. Almost. Almost. Now, can we get the exact same spot? Follow Jangler's channel. Watch him make the mundane difficult. That uh, seems about right. All right, I think we got it now. I think it's, I think it's still not set. How difficult is this? Why is this so difficult to just, just, come on. I know, I know you want to work. Like you're sliding through like you're all kinds of, cut up and done but you're is this a little bit is this a little bit here you know what um if you're, if you're gonna mess around we we can mess around just a little bit i don't want to cut any of the wires inside i think we got it Uh, apparently not. What is going on? It's separated. Why can we not spread this open? What in the world? How incompetent am I? Like, it's a wire cover. Come on. Come on. What is so difficult? This is going to be like half the video. Like me just trying to pull this wire thing apart. We're not even going to get to soldering. Jangular, 
defeated by about two inches of silicone wire. That's pretty sad. It's starting to come apart. It's starting to get there. I may have cut, or is it just bent? No, I think I cut some of the wire. We're good. Ah, it's a bugger. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, ah. Well, I'm gonna have to figure something out. I think, uh, I think we're gonna call this a short episode of Workbench Wednesday, and uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go cry a little bit because I apparently can't cut wire. <laughs> But we'll be back hopefully next Wednesday with a solution and progress on our next cage for the strife. But uh, let me know, let me know what, uh, what, what I can do to remedy this problem in the future. If you guys do have anything to like hold on to stuff to make this easier. Cause maybe I just, just slipping through my hands. I don't know. I don't know. The whole point of this series really though, lest we forget, is for me to learn and to show that we all have to learn at some point. We all have to make mistakes. We all have to do stupid things. And for the new people into the hobby, don't worry, you're not alone. I do plenty of stupid things while I'm learning. And uh, yeah, with that said, uh, we're gonna call it here. If you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that subscribe button for more in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.